What's going on movie fans? My name is Michael Weir. I like to talk about movies and it is officially August 1st which means it's time to talk about all the upcoming movie releases for August of 2023. Now we've made a bunch of these this year so like other videos two things I have to say. First of all I might not mention every single movie that's coming out in August of 2023 because there's just so much content coming out all the time I can't keep track of all of it. These are all the movies that are on my personal radar but if you've got something that you're excited about you're looking forward to and I don't mention it in this list throw that in the comments section down below. Let me know what it is and why you're excited about it. The second thing I gotta say is yes, I'm in another hotel room. I had to leave for a work trip, so I'm sorry that it's a little echoey in here, but it is what it is. You have to record when you have the time if you want to maintain a YouTube channel. It just is what it is. But with that said, let's get into August of 2023. Brand new movies. Coming up on August 4th, guys, we have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reboot movie called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. And I went and saw this movie earlier, actually, so I've seen this movie already, and this is a fun time. I definitely recommend to you, if you have small kids, they will love this movie. It's definitely not as good as the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You know, that's just something that I, I hold on to from my childhood and I will hold on to forever, but it's a fun time. My kids really enjoyed it. There's a lot of jokes in there for kids that they will enjoy, but there's enough humor in there and enough action in there for adult fans of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that I think everyone who is a fan or is going to become a fan of the Ninja Turtles will enjoy this movie. August 4th, check it out. The next movie coming out on August 4th is The Meg to the Trench. I just me called Meg too. Yeah, it might be Meg. The first one's called The Meg. I think they dropped the the and it's just Meg to the Trench. That's probably right. With that said, though, the big giant shark movie is coming back with Jason Statham in the lead role again. Of course, we saw Jason Statham face off against the shark before, and I believe he punched it at one point. I, I believe that happened. So I'm looking forward to this movie personally because I like big underwater creature movies. It's just my thing. It's definitely not my wife's thing, so I'll probably be checking this movie out solo, but I'm looking forward to it. The Meg 2, The Trench, or just Meg 2, The Trench, whatever. The point is, it comes out on August 4th. Are you going to check it out or not? Let me know. So fun fact, they put me in a room that's directly across from the maintenance closet. And so all the housekeeping people have just been hanging out and talking out there all day. All day when I'm trying to sleep. Let's get back into the video. So the next movie coming out on August 4th is called Till Death Do Us Part. And this is a movie that wasn't on my radar at all till about a week ago when it was listed on the AMC app of movies that were coming out. And it's listed as a horror movie. And it's about a bride who is getting away from her husband and all of his evil seven groomsmen. Not really sure. I don't have much more information than that. But you know what? That's enough. That's a hook. And I'm going to go check it out. So Till Death Do Us Part. It's a horror movie coming out on August 4th. And I hope it's fun. It sounds like the plot of Ready or Not, except instead of the family, it's the groomsmen, but it sounds like the same plot. So yeah, till death was part on August 4th, I'm gonna check it out. Next up guys, we have August 11th and the first movie coming out on August 11th is a movie that I have been looking forward to since the beginning of this year when I made my top 10 most anticipated movies of the year list. It just cracked the top 10 at number 10 and it is The Last Voyage of the Demeter. I didn't know what this movie was going to be like when I made that video, but since then a trailer has come out and it looks like exactly what I'm looking forward to. The Last Voyage of the Demeter is a chapter in the book of Dracula where Dracula goes from Transylvania to London and in the movie it's just a scene you see Renfield get all crazy and then they actually kind of sort of showed that scene in the Renfield movie earlier this year and I was like oh I'm excited for that movie even more now. So this is the story of the people on that boat. And basically my understanding will be, this will be Dracula slaughtering some people from Transylvania to the United Kingdom. And it's cool because he's going to London and has all the power because he's on a boat in the middle of the ocean. And so the people are going to lose because of the implications. The next movie coming out on August 11th is called Heart of Stone. I don't know much about this movie. It is a Netflix release movie and it stars Gal Gadot. So because of the fact that it'll be free on Netflix and it also stars Gal Gadot, I'm gonna check it out. But I don't, I don't have any more information of that. Heart of Stone comes out on the 11th as well. On August 18th is a movie that almost got delayed and that is Blue Beetle. This is a movie that they've dropped a ton of advertising for and nobody seems excited for. They are tracking this movie at making like $17 million opening weekend. And I know $17 million sounds like a lot of money, 
but it's not in terms of Hollywood movies that cost $200 million to make. I don't know if it, if it costs that much, but it costs a lot. The point is, it's not tracking very well. Nobody's excited for it. I'm not even excited for it. I will see this movie because I do this YouTube channel, but this is a movie I 100% would skip. It just doesn't look fun. Plus, everything going on with DC right now, and you had James Gunn the other day who was like, well, Blue Beetle is the first character in the new DCU, but Superman is the first movie in the new DCU. And I was like, that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make me excited to see the movie because it just sounds like Blue Beetle's a movie that contractually they have to put out, but it's not actually going to connect to anything in the DCU. It's just like Shazam. It's just like The Flash. It's going down that path where it's like, until you give us the new DCU, we're just not excited about it. And I feel that way about Aquaman 2 at the end of this year, for the record. So Blue Beetle comes out on August 18th. Are you going to check it out? That's another question I have. Let me know in the comments. The final movie coming out on August 18th is called Strays. This is a movie that we actually talked about last month or the month before, and it got delayed to August. So I've already talked about it in one of these movies, but it's Will Ferrell basically mouthing for a dog. And I don't know, the previews look hilarious. It got pushed because of reasons that studios push movies. I knew the reason once upon a time, but I forget it at the moment, but it got pushed. So now it's coming out on August 18th. Are you excited about Strays? I, I, it's a day one for me. I'm going to go check this thing out in theaters. I'm going to bring my wife. I, I think she'll enjoy it. Uh, yeah, Strays. Will Ferrell being a dog and they get into a bunch of dog hijinks. So looking forward to that. On August 25th, guys, we have three more movies. Three movies that I'm not very excited about personally. The first one is called Retribution. It stars Liam Neeson, and of course he's a man with a dark past because his name is Liam Neeson, and he's driving his kids around in his car, and he gets a call on his cell phone, and he answers it, and the person's like, hey, I'm going to blow up your car or people's cars around you if you don't do exactly what I tell you to do. So it's basically a Liam Neeson movie that the hand made for him, and he said yes because those are the movies that he does now. The Retribution, <laughs> August 25th. Next up on August 25th, guys, we get The Hill. The Hill is a movie about a baseball player. I believe it's supposed to be a true story about a baseball player who his legs didn't work right. And so he was told, well, you'll never play baseball, son. And he was like, bet. And his dad is Dennis Quaid. You know, Dennis Quaid's doing a lot of movies where he's a dad, but Jack Quaid is not his son. And I don't understand what's going on there. But yeah, The Hill, it's going to be a baseball movie. It's a movie that, like, if I have time, I'll go see it. But I'm not going out of my way. For, I'm, I'm not going out of my way to watch this movie and review it for the channel. I just don't think there's interest. And also, I'm not very interested myself. The final movie coming out on August 25th, guys, the last movie on this list is Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo is a movie about a kid who could play video games really well. And he was a great racer and became a real racer. They say it's based on a true story and not a story I've ever heard. But maybe it's a real story. I don't know. It's another movie that I'm just kind of like, all right, well, if I have nothing going on that weekend, I will check out Gran Turismo. But Gran Turismo does star David Harbour. And that does excite me because he was on badass Santa Claus. He was also a really cool Hellboy. I liked that movie. I don't know about other people. The other person of note that it stars actually is Orlando Bloom. And I I haven't seen him in a movie in a hot minute, so I'm excited to see something with Orlando Bloom. So yeah, maybe I am excited to see this. Maybe just for those two people, I'm excited to see this movie. We'll see. Maybe it'll reignite Orlando Bloom's career, and we'll see him in a bunch of stuff. I don't know. I haven't seen him in anything in a while. And just thinking about it, I get kind of excited. So Gran Turismo comes out on August 25th, and that's the final movie for this list. Guys, are you excited about any of these movies coming out in August? I'll be honest with you. Outside of The Last Voyage of the Demeter, which I am legitimately excited for, I'm not really excited for anything else. Just... Nothing else really excites me on this list. So let me know in the comment section down below if I've missed anything or if you're excited about any of these movies. I would appreciate that. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps the video. It helps the channel. And it helps me right here. Appreciate your time, guys. Thanks for watching this. I'll see you next time. Well, guys, we got to the end of the video that is probably really echoey. I don't know. I haven't edited yet. I don't know if it's echoey. It just probably is because I can hear the echo here in my room. But we're at the end of the video. I'm excited to get home and record back in my little recording nook at home so that I don't have to do this anymore. I have like two or three videos I'm supposed to be doing. I just, I don't want to do it in this room. But if you like this video and you want to check out other upcoming movies that I've talked about earlier in this year, you can click that playlist right there. It has all of the upcoming movies for the year. And if you want to click right there, you can actually check out all of the movies I've seen and ranked from month to month from worst to best. It's just something fun I've done this year and I've had a really fun time doing it. And I would love for you to check out that playlist as well. Thanks for watching. See you next time.